Hey there, and welcome to the Working With Templates tutorial. Let's uh, switch over to the interface here and get started. So we're just logged into Shane here. He's our scheduling manager user. And we're going to learn how to edit, view, and create new templates. So any scheduling managers can do this, as well as district managers and executives. We'll start by just clicking settings at the top here and going into templates on the left side menu. So you can see we already have one template created. Uh, right now we can only access our one company just because that's the only one Shane is assigned to. So we have back of house here. We'll just click view and it'll take us to our template. So we can see we already have a bunch of shifts filled in here. Um, we've got four different positions and a few different skill levels. And we'll talk about that more once we actually create some shifts. So I just wanted to show you kind of what it looks like once it's created. And basically what a template is, is it's an outline of an of your optimal shift coverage for any given week. So some companies have implementations where they're able to just use the same template every week. Their labor doesn't change too much. If they make any adjustments, they can kind of just do it in their schedules. Others may have a couple different templates, kind of a busy week and a slower week. And so they'll utilize both of those. And then you might have a different template every week if you like. But basically it just helps you to actually generate schedules from, which you'll see in a different tutorial when we start creating schedules. But templates are just our starting points and make scheduling a whole lot easier having this, this outline in here. So we'll just go back to Sunday. We'll show you how we can kind of manipulate an already made template. If we click on any of, uh, any of the skill levels here, expert, it just brings up the menu. This is where we can delete a shift if we don't want it on the template. Or we can change the skill level um, to either the other two here. So we can do that. The other thing we can do is left click and drag shifts. And that's how we just change the times of uh, the times of the shifts. If we hold shift and left click and drag, we can shorten or lengthen the shift, uh, whichever we need. And so that's kind of how you just manipulate the shifts that you've already created a template for. So now we can go back to our template list here, just click template list. And we're going to create a new template. So we already have front of house, so we'll create Sorry, we already have back of house, so we'll create a front of house template here. You can add a description if you wish. This would be where you could put something like slow week or busy week. Um, we'll just leave it blank for now. And then choose your location. We can only choose location one. And we'll click add template. So that immediately populates it up here, adds it to our list, and we'll click view. So again, it looks like our created template, but without any shifts in it. So that shifts, all I have to do is start uh, selecting shift time. So a start time, we can select, say, 8 a.m., have the shift run until 4, select a position. So these are the positions we've input already. So we can select an associate shift. And then our skill level, which if you want more information on the skill levels, there's a video that kind of goes over what these mean and how they work in relation to actually filling employees into them. So just choose skilled as a default. And then you can choose which days the shift occurs on. So maybe this is a shift that actually just happens on the weekend. So we'll just do Sunday and Saturday. Click Add Shift. And as you'd expect, it populates up here, just like our other template. If we look at Saturday, it's also filled in there. And then, of course, it isn't on any of the other days. So basically what you're going to do is keep, keep on choosing, selecting a start time, finish time, position, and skill level for every shift that you need in your template. And you're just going to build, build that outline um, and yeah, just keep adding shifts until until you have all the shifts that you need to create your schedule from. And that's everything for creating a template. Thanks for watching.